Demo conquering Mega Eagle! Uh, we're converting my, my dad's Citroen Relay to a all-weather camper van. Uh, I'll have to run into that field so you can get a decent idea of how big this thing is. <laughs> Look at the size of that bastard. Front wheel drive, semi monocoque, lots of space. As you can see, we've just about stripped out all the uh, lining on the, uh, on, the, on the rear of this, uh, this lovely van. Um, father is still pulling D-rings and shackles out of the floor. Hello! Hello! Yeah. And, um, the next step for us now is to uh, stuff all these voids with, uh, with grass fiber insulation. What I'm doing at the minute is the, uh, the preliminary stages of insulation. Uh, all these voids that will not be able to be reached very shortly. Um, sticking some spray adhesive in there and then shoving glass, glass fibre in there. Uh, I don't mind glass fibre. Right, my skin ain't that soft, it doesn't irritate me, but I'm sure a lot of people will get fucking itches from this. So whatever, only you know, any any Right, what, yeah, whatever. So, uh, we were really hoping to avoid using any spray foam at all, but unfortunately, Mr. Citroën has designed this in such a way that some of these, uh, some of these reinforcings, like, um, this one, uh, I've got, yeah, let's see this one. Um, you see on top, I've put some insulation, but here, these are the only access holes, so there's no way I can stuff glass fiber in there. We're gonna have to, Tape up the holes on the bottom and tape up alternate uh, these hex hexagonal holes and, and these these holes and then stick expanding foam in there, which is horrible evil stuff. Um, but uh, I suppose the whole whole point of this project is to um, is to build Dad a van with uncompromised thermal efficiency. All right. Either way, I still got, as you can see, uh, three quarters of the van to stuff full of well, no, no, more than that. Um, yeah, a long way to go with a glass fibre yet, but um, that's where I'm at. Okay, every single accessible cavity has now been stuffed with glass. So uh, all the all the large frames running around the interior of the of the van uh, are no longer cavities. They are they are glass filled uh, uh, spaces. I suppose whatever. Uh, really, we're really, really just trying to stop the flow of air through these these cavities and stop the outer skin. Uh, what? Um, radiating or the, the, the inner frame radiating warmth to the outer skin and, and losing heat that way so um, we of course have several more steps to go um, but on the on the frames where we have no access to potent full of glass um, we've resorted to using expanding foam what we've basically done here is tape up all the holes along the the, the bottom of these frames and then either either put a little slit in it with a knife and poke the poke the gun nozzle in there or just squirt it straight in at the top. Like there's little, little uh, half-inch gaps between the, the frame and the roof. Um, so that's where they got in. There's a couple down the side. That glass fiber is actually sat on top of a void. So uh, again, we, we tape up the majority of the holes, and there's holes left open by design. So let's just point the camera at it. Yeah, is that uh, that's the bottom one? That's the upper one with the the bits of tape there, uh, we've just been going along, putting the uh, putting the gun in, and a bit of foam, all the while trying to avoid foam raining on our heads from the uh, from the roof, like because it's 
just such horrible bloody stuff to work with. Um, it needs heat as well, and it's December in England, so we're down to about, I don't know, it's four degrees outside at the minute. It is getting colder all the time, because, uh, it's about five in the afternoon, so we've got a lot more work to do today, but what I've, what I've, um, I've got a heater in here, Ta-da! and once I've got all the foam in the, uh, in the frames here, uh, I'm going to shut the door on the heater and just leave the foam to cure properly and then I can come back and scrape all the hard bits off that are falling on the floor and uh, hopefully start applying the first layer of foam insulation. Well, the frame's been going off for a couple of hours now. Um, it's still not quite cured. I mean, we're getting there. I'm, I'm confident it will cure. Uh, the heat is on, and it is slowly getting warmer in here, although it's getting colder outside, so how much warmer it will get in here, I do not know. <clears throat> uh, it's so bloody messy, this stuff. You can appreciate why I was keen to avoid using it altogether. But, um, you know, it's, it's allowed us to get an extra layer of insulation in places that uh, would otherwise just have been a, a big air gap, um, allowing the circulation of cold air. So, <clears throat> that's good. That's good. Um, I think I'm going to leave it for tonight and we'll get back to it um, tomorrow night, I suppose, because I've got to work in a day. So, uh, what's that? Yeah. We'll see what it looks like in the morning or tomorrow afternoon.